will see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. What's up, dedicated people that actually watch my time lapse videos? Today I'm gonna be drawing a sea rabbit. <clears throat> Pretty amazing that this is the first video I've ever made that's centered around the thing that my channel is actually named after. But this isn't a normal drawing that's just to look at. This drawing serves a purpose, and I hope for that purpose to be a drawing that clothes you. Yes, I want to put this drawing on a shirt. I've sold shirts before, but when I did it in the past, I would make a few different designs then have them available for about three weeks total. And during those three weeks, I would advertise them to death with shameless plugs and comics. They were the kind of comics where they start out seemingly normal, but at the end it just makes a full 180 degree turn and ends up advertising my shirts. I thought they were pretty great in a sort of mean way. They were definitely fun to make, but this time I want to make a shirt shop that stays up permanently. Just like three or four shirts with each, I guess, batch of shirt designs I make, there's always one that I put a little bit more effort into than the others. A shirt design that strays off a bit from the usually simple cartoonish designs I draw. This is just because I like to draw, and not all the things I draw are simple and cartoonish, as many of you have seen from my past time-lapse videos. Yeah, I draw a lot of cartoon people, probably because I'm bad at drawing real people, and I like to make more advanced technical drawings, and they're just kind of two different styles. So yeah, I'm also going to make some other designs that'll be more cartoonish like my animation drawings usually are. And that being said, I also want to know what kind of shirt designs you all would like to see. So let me know in the comments. Just give me your ideas, like inside jokes for my videos you'd like to have on a shirt or anything like that. Just let me know, that'd be awesome. Alright, now I'm gonna actually talk about the drawing a little bit. So. This turned out to be one of the most indecisive drawings I've ever made. If you watch, when I'm making the sketch, I end up erasing and redoing just about every single part of the drawing. Like when I started with the rabbit, I had drawn the head facing more towards me and pretty much staring directly at whoever was looking at it. Then I decided that looked kind of creepy, and creepy is definitely not what I'm going for when drawing a rabbit. So I changed the head angle to be more sideways, and I think that worked well. I also ended up redoing the position of my character at the bottom. At first he was holding the Wacom pen down more, and I thought that looked way too static. It just had no implied movement or anything, and it was boring. So I made him hold the pen up a bit more, and I think that looks a lot better. Also, when I was sketching the cloud design in the sea rabbit's tail, I had originally added these swirly line things that I just planned on having go in and out of the clouds sort of looping around in a somewhat elegant way, but I think that it just ended up looking really awkward, and the clouds looked nice enough on their own, so I just scrapped the swirls. When I started the drawing, I had planned to make it this really busy picture with a bunch of clouds, swirls going everywhere, and maybe even put some of the little generic character dudes floating around or stuck in the clouds and stuff, and then incorporate the big sea rabbit into it somehow, but it obviously didn't end up like that. That seems to happen with a lot of my drawings. They don't end up the way I plan them to, either because I don't have the skill to put my ideas into a good looking picture, or because my original idea is just bad and wouldn't work out so great even if I could draw it. I guess that's just the kind of thing that happens when you start out with a conceptual idea of what you want to draw and no actual visualization. It's kind of like if you asked an eight-year-old to design a superhero, they'd be telling you how it's 500 feet tall, can shoot laser beams from its 1,000 eyes, can move entire planets with its pointer finger, and flies 100 times faster than the speed of light. That'd be a terrible idea to actually make into a superhero. So when I started drawing, it took a lot of tweaking and in this particular drawing, erasing to make a finished product that works. This is all very opinionated, obviously. Maybe some of you saw me erase the swirls and were completely devastated, thinking, you absolute buffoon. Why would you do that? It looked so good and now, now it's just ruined. But I can't read other people's minds, so I've just gotta trust my own artistic opinion to make something that looks good. On a slightly different note, I wanted to talk about some recent happenings related to my last animation. If you haven't seen it yet, it's about how I decided on the name The Sea Rabbit, and I'd recommend giving it a watch if you want to have some background on what I'm going to talk about now. So, I went back on the Facebook page that I talked about in the video a few hours after I put the video out, and I noticed that the poem I talk about with Percy 
Jackson and the Sea Rabbit was removed. I didn't want to seem like a liar talking about something that didn't exist, so I messaged the person that runs the page and I asked them, Hey, why'd you take it down? They just replied with, the page is a joke, because they must have thought I was trying to sincerely help an endangered make-believe animal based on a gag Facebook page that was made three years ago. I told them that the page was great and sent them a link to the video I made involving it to explain why people were suddenly taking interest in saving the sea rabbits. We ended up having a good conversation where they told me they were just embarrassed that a bunch of people were suddenly seeing the stupid poem that they made their sophomore year in high school. I assured them that it was an amazing poem poem and people thought it was hilarious, so they agreed to put it back up, which made me pretty happy. So now, thanks to all your support, the page that initially had about 15 likes or people following it or whatever, I don't really know how Facebook works, now has over 200 people following it. I just love this whole situation because that page is the kind of thing that I would have made in high school, just, just really pointless and random, and now it's getting a bunch of attention, which I think is hilarious. And speaking of other social media sites, like Facebook, even though I don't use that, I just wanted to take a moment to say that I make more than just YouTube videos, which I'm sure a lot of you don't know. I also make comics, and I put them on the internet on places like iFunny and Tumblr, and I was just thinking the other day that since my uploads on YouTube are few and infrequent, if you do want to look at some more content I make, you should go check out my comics. I don't care if you follow me or whatever on those sites, they're just a good thing to look at if you want to kill a couple hours someday because you're waiting for my next video upload or something. I mean, I've made over a hundred of them, so it'd definitely burn some time. And I also have a Twitter if you want to check that out, with a depressive lack of people following compared to how many people are sub to me on YouTube. I use it for really stupid things, like voting to name my mystery dungeon rescue team, and that's where I updated everyone on what happened to my whiteboard drawing. I don't know. I'm just saying all this to let everyone know where they can find some more stuff I make, since it takes me a while to get videos out. If you're thinking, oh, I love his YouTube, but I wish there was a way for me to see more things he makes, since he doesn't upload on there very often, then, uh, there you go, I guess. Okay, lastly, I just want to point out that I'm taking a poll for which version of this drawing would look better on a shirt. I'll be putting a link for that in the description. Remember how I said I was really indecisive when making this drawing? Well, I am still indecisive about what would make this look best on clothing. Basically, I don't know if I should do things like keep my character in the bottom corner, or get rid of him, or if people want him there but without color, or if people want him gone but with the text that says the sea rabbit, and uh, little variations like that. So yeah, if you could spare about 5 seconds of your time to give that a vote, your feedback is highly appreciated. Anyways, I hope everyone is having a good summer break if you're in school right now, or if you're in school and finals still aren't done for some ungodly reason, I hope those go well, and if you're not in school, I hope you're having a good life. Anyway, thanks.